Now, I am, I am impressed, though. I got to say this. Uh, you know, we like to nerd out on, on GM stuff and, you know, franchise mode. We talked about Madden yesterday, how we always go into franchise mode. It was, more, it was more fun building the team than it was actually playing the game, right? So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or just, you know, just going back and forth. I'm impressed that fans are looking at the GM level and saying, no, no, no. Now, before we start talking about the wide receiver and the offensive line, I really want my oh, team dedicated. to be different. Oh, they're dedicated. So, they're dedicated. They know they know they know he's an impediment. Who's gonna take a job with that now, guy still there? They know is this they are they see the writing is, on the wall. There seems to be a campaign though. I wonder. I, I mean, like we wouldn't know this. I, you would know this. Okay, you covered the league. You would know what people are saying about Trent Balky, but your average fan wouldn't know a wouldn't know what people are saying about Trent Balky and B um, give, give me a give me a well, southern well grocery read. store. Give me give me give me a Winn southern Dixie? grocery store. Is, it, is that when okay, when Dixie, Dixie Swagman's okay. The, okay, okay when Dixie if you see Trent Balky in aisle seven at when Dixie do you know that's Trent Balky? Oh, they, oh, they know. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> like, God. Yes, on. especially no. in Jacksonville. No way. What kind of question hey, is no that? Way. What kind of course no. they do? Hey. Of course they do. Hold on, bro. He, Wait a minute. Jacksonville. Jacksonville is no small town. It's not small. It's a really big area. I'm saying so I'm saying I mean, I think to, the point, point of the conversation is, is how dedicated and how knowledgeable they are. I get their passion. They're dedicated. I'm simply saying knowledgeable. it backfires, but I but I think a lot of this Trent bulky this recent it, it's been a lot of recent Trent bulky hatred from the national media and I think it's yeah. here's the trickle down effect where fans are like that's right. We can't get the coach we want. Because Trent or it could just be here. well, no. Wait, but no, hold on. No. I don't want to spend any more. I don't want to spend any more time on the Jacksonville than we need to because I got one more thing. I got to yeah. make your head explode before we go. But no, it's not just that. It's not just whether or not it's a it's some kind of political campaign. It's that he has survived two coaches already. There's a common denominator here, and it's not just Shah Khan. So even common sense will tell you that whoever you hire, whether it's Byron Leftwich or Jim Caldwell, who's interviewing for the job, should probably set him up to succeed with the guy. <laughs> Who's had success? All right. Um, so, but wait, six degrees of separation. Trent okay. Balky, Trent Balky's former head coach. I've been saving this for you because I think your head's gonna explode. All right. You ready? All right, I'm ready. This is according to Bruce Feldman. This is according to Bruce Feldman. Okay. Bruce Feldman says that Jim Harbaugh might be tempted to leave Michigan for another run in the NFL and he specifically cited the Bears and the Raiders as opportunities that could intrigue him. He's obviously got ties to both organizations. The yeah, other yeah. organization to which he has ties is the one that a week ago made history only to get curb stomp once they played a real team. And that's the Miami Dolphins. Love Brian Flores, but obviously you want to connect dots. Michigan man Stephen Ross and Jim Harbaugh. Right. I love this story for two reasons. One, because even though Harbaugh has been successful in the NFL with the 49ers, you probably hate it because that's your brand because you don't like college coaches. If you go to college, you're tainted in the mind of Michael Holly. So no, I love no, the story no, for that was, reason. No, no. No, no, no. He, he was, he a, was he good. Was pro. Yeah. He, he was very, he was very successful. Okay, so, so this is an exception. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. The second reason I love it is this is to me getting out while the getting is good because I believe that Jim Harbaugh, yeah, yeah, has. Yeah, this is, I believe yeah, yeah. that he has gone as far as he can take Michigan. This year was as that's as good as it's gonna get for them. College football playoff. They they are not going to win the whole thing. They got by Ohio no State this year, had a great no year. They've lost five straight bowl games, and especially if they expand these playoffs, which is a different conversation, they ain't sniffing a national championship. Sorry, Rich Eisen. Sorry, Tom Brady. Oh, Sorry, come Michigan men and women. Why not? Go back hey. to the NFL and show Why people not? like Michael Holly that you can come from college. Oh. He might be the next Pete Carroll. Bro. He might be come next Pete Carroll. Might come, come back on. and be even better. Come on, Cletus. Come on, Cletus. Come on, come on, come on over here. Okay, why are you leaving? Oh, so you like this? Why are you leaving, bro? You like this? Oh, oh, no, no. I'm saying, no. I think, I think it's great. I like it that the Michigan guy 
thinks that he has done everything that he can do. You beat Ohio well, State for the that. first time. No, that's me. In, uh, what, uh, but uh, no, no, no. That's, I, I need that to be true. You beat Ohio oh, State God. for the first time in a generation. <laughs> for the first time in a generation, you get your team to the playoffs. You look like your team wasn't ready in the playoffs. So you lose to Georgia, get beat down by Georgia, and then, hey, my work is done here. No, your work's not done. You go to Michigan, <laughs> you go to Ohio State, Georgia, Alabama, Oklahoma, USC. You go to those programs to win national championships. That's when your work is done. Getting to the college football playoffs at LSU too. Uh, that is not the oh, come on. That is such a cop out. So you didn't. I do just the job. think. I think. He, he I didn't think do the he's. Job. Be, I hope he leaves. I think. I, I think this was the apex for this year. Was the apex for Jim Harbaugh. Before we go, we're talking about GMs. Um, I we, we know you and I both know that good organizations when you get to a certain point as an organization, people start picking off your talent. People start taking yeah. your assistant coaches. People start taking your scouts, having them come run your, their teams. Michael, our goal is for this here program to be successful enough and significant enough to where people start coming for our talent. And if we're not careful, our social media manager, Brandon Newman, he think he's slick. He think we don't know that he out should making moves. Mm -hmm. We're not careful. Mm -hmm. We may be having to replace him soon because the, the former football player turned comedian out your guest hosting podcasts. The Hall of Fame always talk about that's when they were talking about uh, keeping Terrell Owens out. The people mm -hmm. in the Hall of Fame, there was words and which is a, and rumors. Which was a travesty, right. by the way. Yeah, a travesty. That, that, yeah. Exactly. But there's rumors that Terrell Owens wasn't welcome in the in the brotherhood that was the Hall of Fame. If Terrell Owens had had a little stink on him, had a little stink on him, Antonio Brown spoiled milk. I'm telling you, he made everyone sick. He, he, that milk was the same color, and everybody thought it was cool. And then they opened it up, had a taste, and now everybody's sick. Antonio Brown is spoiled milk for the NFL, and I don't think anyone. I, I, I don't. I'm trying to think if if one of these broadcast talking head networks would even stick their neck out and give him an opportunity to 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 speak. But listen, based off his music, I don't want to hear Antonio Brown talk either. Well, hey, well, man. well. What? Well, well. Look, I mean. Listen, we, like you know, we Brandon, we know he got he got takes. He's been he runs a comment section. I think we might that might be a we might have to start incorporating him a little bit more. Keep getting the ball more. We might have to get him some more reps. Hey man, you, before he out him and Ashley Cole want, Moss. You want more vacation? You know, run time, off together. You want like what? What you want? You want you man. want? Man, like you want? Like in front you of my raise. You know, in front of my wife and everything, man. He goes go throw out. He goes hey, throw out there. Brandon, Brandon, wait, podcast. did you notice the fresh fade? Did you notice the fresh fade? Oh, it was good. Every he got all it was tight. He got all chopped up for Ashley. Everything. Yesterday's price is good. not today's price. Yesterday's price he is not today's price, huh, Brandon? Hey, thanks for watching, brother, from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.